Hi guys and welcome to another quick video tutorial here on the Kiki and Manny Photography blog. My name is Manny and in today's tutorial I want to show you guys everything about image processing. Last week we covered the batch processing which is almost the same but a few people asked me if there's not a simpler way of doing this method and yes there is with image processing. So let's get started. This is process also works from CS3 to CS5 and it works in Photoshop and in Bridge. We're going to do it through Bridge and let's get started. Okay, I'm going to go down here, open my Bridge and in here I'm currently in the content area and I'm going to select all eight images via Command A. Pressing those together, select all my images and you can see also they are currently still NEF which means they are still in RAW format. If you have JPEGs or PSDs this works exactly the same so just select all your images and we'll start from there. Okay. Command A, select all your images. If you got 100 to 500 images, just select all of them. If you want to do the same processing on all these images. Select your images, go to Tools here at the top, go to Photoshop and Image Processor. Not Batch this time, Image Processor. Select that. A new window will pop up and in here you have a few options to choose from. So first step you will have to do is select the images you want to process. Yes, we've selected all these eight images. So if you go through Photoshop, you will still have to select your images. Now through, through Bridge, it just goes quicker. That's why I'm doing it through Bridge. Select your images, go open first image to apply settings. Yes, you want to tick that box because the first image that will be opened goes into Camera Raw. In Camera Raw, you can adjust a little bit and tweak your image and all these adjustments will be added to all other images. So select that and I'll co we'll show you guys in a moment what will happen. Then select location to save processed image. If you want to save in same location, but I don't want to do that because then it will just be a lot of images in the same folder and I don't know which is what. Go to select folder and in here I want to create a subfolder. So in my folder called images at the moment, I want to create a subfolder called JPEGs. So I'm going to go down and say new folder. In here go rename that to JPEG and say create. Then currently done, go to open and you've selected the folder where you want to save it into. Okay, you've done that. Then go to file type, save as JPEG. Yes, I want to save mine as JPEG at the moment, not as PSD or not as TIFF. If you want, you can just tick here in the box at the front and it will save as PSD and TIFF as well. Okay, quality from my JPEG is between 0 and 12, between bad, medium and good quality. I want to have it as super high quality, so I'm going to select 12. Then convert to profile sRGB. Yes, I want to tick that at the moment. Then obviously as well, I want to resize my images. So I'm going to say width and height to 1200 pixels. That's good for me. Okay, and then you are almost good to go. Now the last step that you still have to do, which is also working with a batch process with our action, you will have to go to preferences down here and say run action. Now this is very important. Tick this box here in the front. Otherwise your actions will not run. Okay, I'm going to untick it now quickly, just so you guys can see now something happens, okay? In here, it will currently look like this on your screen, default actions. Now, these are actions that are coming with Photoshop, and you wanted to select your own action from the action that we just created a few weeks ago. So, I'm going to go down, say, Kiki and Manny photo actions, select that, and in here, we just have one action, black and white, so you'll see nothing happens, just this one black and white. But we're fine with that because we want to run the black and white on that. So if you have a different action, just select the different action and you're good to go. Or if you will even want to choose from all these other actions that are coming from the default actions or create your own. I'm going to go down and select Kiki and Manny Photo again, black and white, and I'm good to go. Copyright info, yes, my name and my business. Okay, I want to add that and tick this box here at the bottom, include ICC profile. Okay, so you're all done with all adjustments in here. Last step you can do is hit save and save these settings at a same safe location. So next time you, when you open this image processor window, you can just say load and your time or it will just be way, way quicker because you ent entered everything already. Then last step you have to do is say run. So once we hit run now, Right, there we go. First image is in camera raw. That's what we just selected there at the top and we tick the box saying first image has to be open camera raw. Now this means I can do some rough adjustments in here and every image will be adjusted with these adjustments. So I'm going to turn up my blacks a little bit because I want to adjust this a little bit. Change my temperature a bit. Yes, 4500. Nice and cool. Like it like that. Contrast a little bit. I can actually see my image has been adjusted already. So I want to keep these settings, yes, and say open object. Okay, open that, and Photoshop is now taking that image from my bridge 
into camera raw adding my adjustments to that into bridge converting doing the actions on that and taking the whole image and saving it as a JPEG in a new subfolder. So that's really good for me because it's way quicker and I can already do something else, go on with my emails, with my clients or whatever. So I don't need to do anything now, it just runs automatically. So if you've got 100 to say 200 images, this is very nice and handy to have. Okay, we're currently waiting till Photoshop just runs these 8 images through because I still want to show you guys a small step that might give you a bugger on the way. Okay, as you can see now, Photoshop has finished rendering. Okay, then I'll just go back to my bridge folder and in bridge in the content area, back to JPEG, double click on here and JPEG, we created that subfolder and there you can see it all eight images are saved as a JPEG and were converted with that actions to black and white so I didn't have to do anything just select my image processing and everything was done for me so if you get a hundred images this really works way way quicker now I mentioned before I quickly want to show you guys something else in the action palette in the batch processing we created I'm just gonna drag the actions palette out of here make this a bit bigger so you can guys can see it nice I went all the way down now in my last actions from the batch processing we did record some new actions on here we hit save and close we recorded these extra because in batch processing you will have to do this now when you're doing the action and you in your action having this action recorded save and closed please untick this box here in the front because otherwise your image processing won't work it will give you a failure so if you have an action where you have another action in your action called save or close you will have to uncheck these otherwise you will get an error so I hope you guys understand it everything I taught you today thank you for watching the tutorial my name is Manny and see you next week on another technical Wednesday rundown and bye bye